I'll uh, follow the, your lead and actually ask one question to all the panelists and the yes or no question, but you're certainly free to elaborate if you have something you want to add. Uh, do you believe that federal taxpayer dollars should be used to pay for abortion on demand at any stage of pregnancy for anyone who seeks an abortion uh, but says they cannot afford one? So let me start, uh, as you did, Madam Chair, with Dr. Palacio and then sort of work across the panel, if I may. Uh, thank you, uh, uh, Chair. Uh, thank you, uh, Representative Cole. Uh, we're here to really think about uh, what's important is about covering insurance for medical care. Abortion is a healthcare procedure. Uh, what we're talking about is the uh, discrimination against people who are low income or people who are uh, typically black and brown. Uh, who aren't able to access affordable, timely services in the same way that you or I, or I are. It is an important issue of equity to be able to have Medicaid pay for a robust, comprehensive services, and robust, comprehensive services includes the full spectrum of reproductive services, including abortion. Thank you very much. Uh, Dr. Parrott, same question. Sure, thank you for that. Uh, not surprisingly, I, I agree. Um, I believe that healthcare is, as I stated, a human right, and that every person has the right, um, whether they're getting their health insurance through the federal government or through private insurers, to have access to the same services. The community that I take care of, the patients that I see, should not have to make decisions based on their economics and incomes. And they and it's not either or. They also need support. They also need child care. They also need prenatal care. Right? It's a it's a both and, not an either or. Okay. And Ms. Williams. Yes. Thank you, Representative Cole. The reality is, wealthy people will always be able to access abortion care because they have the means to do so. Um, what's really at stake here is the discriminatory policy that is jeopardizing low-income people's lives and futures. Um, you know, when we withhold coverage from someone who is enrolled in Medicaid coverage, we're telling them a message, a stigmatizing message that they are not worthy of safe, affordable health care and that we do not care about their rights and we will not uphold their rights, their constitutionally protected right to an abortion. Um, so it's, you know, this has been on the books for far too long. We need to start telling them a different message, one of compassion, one of support. And we can show them that by covering all forms of health care, including abortion. Thank you. And Ms. Bennett. Saying that abortion is just health care or that abortion is merely a woman's right denies the reality that abortion is a destructive act through violent means that ends the life of a human person. If I was aborted in Hartford, I would have been dismembered. My body would have been thrown into a trash can. And that would have been the reality of what happened. And we can use all sorts of words to describe abortion, but we can never deny the fact that abortion is the intentional taking of a human life. And taxpayers who are morally opposed to this, whether it's for religious reasons or secular reasons, should not be forced to have to fund this, especially for those of us in the Black community who view abortion and what has happened to our community as an act of genocide. We should not have to work hard to give our money to institutions that take innocent lives. 